vehicle in his class? Ooh, ooh. Who else? At Jeep, we do it right. Here he comes. Good speed. Take off. What a jump! You! Hey, buddy! Stop daydreaming. The Olympics are on. Miller Lite salutes the Olympics. They bring out the dreamer in all of us. Because Citicorp understands the drive to succeed, to do more than just get by, we've become the nation's largest financial services company, already helping one in every five American families. With more student loans, more home mortgages, more MasterCard and Visa cards than any other company. Citicorp and Citibank, we'd like you to get to know us better. Citicorp, because Americans want to succeed, not just survive. Come on, wait till you smell the brand new scent in Circle Fabric Softener. Mmm, so color fresh. A scent you'll love. <laughs> it's the brand new color fresh scent of Snuggle. My mom said, gosh, your skin really looks nice. I told her I wasn't using soap anymore. Dove made the difference. Dove contains one quarter moisturizing cream. It won't dry your face like soap. Dove makes my skin feel soft, supple. I bought some for my mom. Welcome to the Olympic Oval, the site of the women's 1,000 meters. Two and a half laps around the Oval, the third event of the women's competition. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary Bender, along with Eric Hyden. This is an event the United States has never won a gold medal. And Bonnie Blair, the gold medalist in the 500, is trying to be the first American woman since Andrea Mead Lawrence in 1952 to win two gold medals in the same Winter Games. She has great support here. The Blair Bunch is here, in mass, the family, Eleanor and Charlie, her parents, her sister Mary. But she will not be favored as once again the East German women, and in particular, Karen Kanya, carry the favorite tag. Ready to go now on our first pair, Andrea Erich of East Germany, who for the third straight race is in the first pair. Erich, the silver medalist in the 3000, a five-time Olympic medalist. And she will set the time to beat Eric Hyden, and it will be a competitive one. Yes, I think Andrea has a very good chance of doing well. She's got a lot of endurance. Expect her not to have a fast opening 200 meters, but it's going to be her last lap where she's going to be able to make up a lot of time on the top sprinters. Eric from East Germany inside. Soko Kusano of Japan on the outside. Two and a half laps, and they skate this just like the 500 meters. It's really a controlled sprint. Instead of using both arms, as you saw in the 500 meters, they'll put one arm on her back. You can see Eric has a little bit of a red tie around her waist. She'll hook her hand into there so that she can relax. These Germans have a hard time with that hand. It's not really a great time. Just to about where she'd want to be at this particular time as they now have inside of it a, a lap and a half to go. So now it's the Japanese skater who can chase Eric. Eric had a good good position at the start. She can chase the Japanese skater at the start. Makes her have a fast opener. But now it's the Japanese skater's turn to get a good chase. And she's doing quite well. I'm surprised that she's able to come up on Eric like this. Coming down to the bell lap. She'll want to come out very relaxed. Then come hard to the 600. And be at about 47. So they're a little bit over that at that particular stage. I think tonight if you're going to win this race, you're going to have to skate a world record. And that would put you under a minute 18. Seconds. The world record is 118.11, and Kanye holds that as well as the Olympic record. And Eric right now is looking very strong. We expected her to have a great last lap. She gained a lot of time, especially on that last backstretch before she had a chance to chase. So Eric, once again, the first pair, she's going to set the time that they're going to have to go after. The world record is 118.11. She's outside that, but that is a new Olympic record. 119.32, the old Olympic record, 121.61 by Kanye. So Bonnie Blair has something to shoot for. She's been so successful. And one of the big reasons that Bonnie Blair has done so well is the influence of her family. Well, actually, I got started in skating because uh, my brothers and sisters were all in it before I was. And I was, I'm the last child of six. And so as soon as they could, they put skates on me, and I just started skating, and I've been skating ever since. I don't think she even realized that she was in competition, particularly at first. So when she'd skate around the rink, and she did most of her skating indoors at that time, she would go along and wave to the audience, <laughs> the spectators, and uh, just have a blast. And, and that's the way she's always taken skating. Monday night, Bonnie skated as if there was no pressure at all, beating Krista Rothenberger's world record time by just two hundredths of a second to win the gold medal. 
And if millions of Americans held their breath during her race, Bonnie felt just the opposite. She knew she could do it. Well, after Rothenberger skated, I actually didn't watch her entire race, but, you know, I was aware of what her time was. And after I saw that, I just kind of thought to myself, well, this past week I had done a training lap, um, you know, an all-out lap, and I knew that my time was faster than what she had just gone. So I had that confidence right there. And, in fact, I wasn't even that nervous. I was real calm about the whole thing, which I was a little bit surprised, but I guess it was because I had that confidence within me that knew that, you know, I think I could beat that anyway. And um, I don't know. I went to the line and still felt pretty good. After the first tender, when I heard the crowd and the announcer yell that I was ahead of her, uh, that gave me a big boost, I think. And the rest of the race, I really don't remember a whole lot. It's a race that goes by so fast that, you know, the next thing I remember is really crossing the line. My main thing was to hopefully try and get a gold medal, and I did. And now, you know, not that it's over with, but I think it takes a little bit of pressure that I put on myself off. And I'm just going to go out there and have fun. Well, she hopes to have fun, but Eric, I think the big question is, has she been able to focus? There's been so many distractions since winning the goal. Yeah, you know, she, a lot of people think that she's come out here with nothing to lose, and I think that she's lost a lot of sleep. She's been out doing a lot of things, and I kind of wonder if she's maybe come here to these Olympics to skate the 1,000 and 1,500 meters sort of as an afterthought. 500 meters meant so much to her. Well, a lot of people say that you focused on all five events, so maybe she just focused on the 500. There's Eleanor, family that has supported her so well. Eleanor, along with Charlie, three sisters, two brothers. And Bonnie will be paired with Christine Aptink of the Netherlands. And really, that's not a good pair for her, Eric, because really, Aptink will not be a factor in the time, and they could have problems with the crossover. Right. Watch the first crossover. After the 200 meters, when they come to the backstretch, I expect Bonnie to be way ahead. And Christine Aptink, I think, is going to really have to watch out as Bonnie maybe comes up on her back, and maybe they're going to have troubles on the crossover. The key to this race, though, is whether Bonnie can hang on that last lap. Expect her to open up very hard, and it's going to be that last 400 meters, which is going to either win or lose this race for her. Two entirely different skaters. Aptink, much larger than Bonnie, and Bonnie's so cat-quick getting off the line. There's Aptink from the Netherlands, not 21 years of age. On the outside, Bonnie Blair, two and a half laps, the 1,000 meters. Bonnie's starting on the outer, which means she doesn't have that pair to chase or a partner to chase. But Bonnie is so good at a start that this shouldn't really hold her back. When she comes to the back stretch, she should have somebody to have somebody to chase. But I think Optic is just going to be a little bit slow. 200 meter time, about a half a second faster than we saw Eric at this point. She wanted to be at about 18 at 200, just a little bit over that. A little bit of trouble with that corner. This corner coming up may give her trouble because in the 1,000 meters, you're skating almost at the speed you do in a 500. You saw the crossover. It was no problem. No problem whatsoever. Coming around now. She'll be coming into the bell lap. Great turn. Great turn. Bonnie threw up skating short track. She has no problems here. And now she's going for it. Both arms down. Probably won't see too many people do that. That is an excellent 600 meter time. That's exactly where she wanted to be. So she's right on track right now. In this event in December, it was the last 150 meters where she really died. So if she's been concentrating this last week after the 500 meters, she can hold it. I think she can do quite well. She looks a little tired as she made that turn. Now the time to beat by Eric is 119.32. You see the time. Can she get there? She did. Yes, sir. 118.31. She has the best time thus far. That is not a world record, but it breaks the Olympic record that was set just moments ago by Andrea Eric. She was two tenths behind the world record. She's got to be very happy with that time. A few weeks ago in the uh, World Championships, she didn't have a great performance in the 1,000 meters where there were poor conditions. Here she is in the last turn of the race. You can see she's come up a little bit. That happens when you start to get tired, but always full extension with her legs. She's such a good corner skater. Looks in on that turn like you should. Holds your body in right up against those lane markers. Focusing down that track. Fantastic skater, great technique, and that's what gets her by in these races. And that tiger look that she has, she really comes in there with a look of determination. And you can see she skates as hard as she possibly can right through that finish line. And in a short race like this, 
It's those hundreds of a second that you can gain finishing hard that make up the grace. Eric, that's a good time, but I wonder if it's good enough. That's going to be the big question because uh, coming up is Karen Tanya, and I suspect she's going to just go for the fastest time she can possibly skate, which I think is going to be underneath the world record. She did not have a pair that would help her as much as Tanya will have. She has Angela Stanka alongside her, both of them from East Germany. This is an excellent two to be together. It's got to help each other. Tell the crowd to be quiet for the start of this, the fourth pair. Inside now is Stanka of East Germany. Outside lane, the person to watch, Tanya. Boy, they held them a long time. Is that a false start? We're going to have to see. I, I noticed that Karen, Tanya on the outer had a little bit of a movement. The starter may just tell them, all right, let's start over again. No false starts, but let's get it together. There's maybe a little bit too much noise. They might have heard a camera click. Well, Kanye obviously knows what she has to do. She has a world record right now bonding with the Olympic record. And Kanye set the world record here at this track in December, 118.11. It was a second and a half faster than anybody, which is really an insurmountable, or just a great, great uh, difference in time in 1,000 meters. And a long hold at the line, but they're off successfully. Kanye with a red armband, with a white armband to stunk it. You wonder mentally if she could overcome that fourth place in the 3,000. She faded so badly in it. She really had a disastrous race. There's a lot of speculation whether she was sick or injured, and I think today's race is going to be able to tell. Tanya usually doesn't get out that quickly at the 200 meters, but then does she really fly the last two laps? That's what keeps her in this race. You can see her chasing her partner down the back stretch. Right now they're about even, and Tanya is ahead. She comes out of this turn. She wants it. You know the time she needs, that 600 meter time. And she is not there. She's outside what Bonnie Blair is able to do. She's a little bit behind Bonnie's time at this point, but it's going to be the strong last lap that we can expect from Kanye, where she's going to make up a lot of time. But 400 meters isn't all that much distance where you have a chance to make up a time like that. She was five tenths slow, and that's a lot of this race. And she comes around now, that final turn. That's an awful lot. And if you ask me, she's starting to look tired again. She's coming up, she's stumbling a little bit. Doesn't have that strong push that she's known.